Hi everybody, welcome to Diana's Place. Today we're gonna to be making a fantastic salad. Roasted beets, feta, fennel, mint, and orange. It's amazing and it's beautiful. So let's get started. This is one of my favorite salads. I love to serve it for company when they come either as an entree or for a lunch portion. When I do it for lunch, I'll add grilled salmon or chicken and it makes a complete meal. Today, we're just going to do it as an appetizer. And I think once you see it, you're gonna see how beautiful and healthy it is and how delicious. It's a combination of fresh flavors with the roasted beets, super healthy. You're gonna love it, I can promise you that. We're gonna to start today with the roasted beets. You wanna make sure you get these in the oven for an hour and a half. They take a long time to do, so you can actually do these up to two days ahead of when you wanna assemble the salad and serve it. The most important thing is to put on kitchen gloves. You would not believe how you can destroy your hands and nails. It's not pretty. <laughs> so, we're gonna do some surgery with these beets. I've already scrubbed this beet. When you buy them, you buy them in bunches. I don't know if you've ever bought them, but if you're looking, they come red and you can get golden. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the golden for today's show, so we're gonna just do the red, but that's totally fine. It'll still be beautiful. I've already scrubbed this. I'm gonna show you how to trim it. You wanna leave a little of that stalk intact because when it roasts, it will kind of release the juices. So you want to leave that intact and just trim the bottom. Doesn't look like it's been scrubbed, but it has. You're going to actually do this for four of them. I have been organized and prepped ahead, so I've actually got the beets already roasted. But I'm going to show you how to get them ready to go into the oven. Take a baking pan and line it with foil because these really do make a mess. I'm going to take some olive oil and coat them. Oh my goodness, that just broke. <laughs> there we go. And just coat them. So we would have normally four beets. You could do more depending upon the size, but between four and six beets. The recipe will make enough for six appetizer salad portions. So you could reduce the amount of beets and the amount of ingredients to make it for four, for two, whatever you like. Obviously that's easy to do. And then we're gonna put some salt on it. Just a good amount of salt. So just imagine there's like four or six of them in here. And you're gonna cover them up tight with another piece of foil so that the air cannot get inside. And it goes in the oven at 400, anywhere between an hour to an hour and a half. I tend to go on the longer side because you really can't overdo them. They're gonna be soft when they come out. All right, so back on with the gloves because I'm gonna show you how to prep these once they've been cooked and roasted. Okay, so these have come out of the oven They've been cooled and they're done. Now, I'm using an old cutting board so that I don't care that it's gonna get stained. I've got my gloves on and I'm ready for surgery. These have a little skin on them. I'm gonna show you just to cut that root end off. You'll see how big a mess these make. <laughs> and I just kind of peel that outer skin that's there. Just Pull it off, it's really simple. Beets are really good for you. They're one of the superfoods. So it does make a mess, look at that. Okay, so we're just gonna cut these up and set them aside. I look at the size and I've cut them in half and I wanna make little wedges. They don't have to be exactly the same size. This is a very artistic, beautiful looking salad so you can just be creative with your cuts and you see how easily that knife is going through? That means they're perfectly done. I'm just gonna line them up here on my plate, avoiding touching anything. And again, just big and small. Today, I'm gonna to be plating one salad for you just to see the, the final look of it. The next thing we're gonna do is peel an orange. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Seems simple, but there's a little bit of a method to it. You wanna cut the ends off. These are just basic navel oranges. You could actually use uh, mandarins or tangerines, which is really nice to do over the holidays. 
This is a beautiful salad to serve in the winter because everything is readily available and the freshness of the orange just, it's a beautiful bright flavor in the middle of winter. You could also add some pomegranate seeds to the top for presentation, just so pretty. And again, really healthy. So I've just gone around, I've cut either end of the orange off, gone around and removed the skin. I'm gonna come back and make sure all of that white pith is off. You don't want that bitterness in your salad or visually. Again, this is something you could assemble the day before. This salad you can get completely prepped the day before. And then you just take your knife and against that membrane right there, go right to the center, and there you go. So we finished cutting up the oranges and I've set them aside. I've also taken from the oranges two teaspoons of orange juice. This is gonna go into our dressing. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is prepare the fennel. You buy fennel like a bowl, but usually has these long fronds on it, like this one. I love to use these for a little bit of finishing on the plate. They're just very artistic and pretty. If you've never used fennel, it's a wonderful vegetable. When it's raw, it has a licorice flavor. And when it's roasted, it's sweet and sort of loses that licorice flavor. So it's very diverse in its texture. I will add them to stir fries, and I just love them fresh in a salad. They're amazing. So I'm gonna show you how to trim it. This has been trimmed just a little bit before I started taping. But you take the ends off and scrub them. If they're a little dirty, just scrub them and kind of scrape off anything that's not clean or looking good. And you can actually pull the leaves off. Now this is kind of a waste because it will actually use this, but you see underneath it's nice and clean. So I'll probably save this and put it in a stir fry later. So what I do, you can do this in many, many different ways, but I like to just cut it in half. You can see the center of it. This is a really nice fennel. And I'm gonna quarter it. I'm gonna take the end off. I'm going to cut it in half so it's quartered. And now I'm just gonna like thinly slice it. You can do this a lot of different angles to get different looks to your salad. I'm just gonna do a nice straight julienne type style, very thin. You could use a mandolin. If you've ever used one, they're fantastic for getting really shaved pieces. But I'm gonna have this just a little thicker than that so that you've got that nice crunch going on when you eat it. So, this is it. Perfect. This recipe calls for one fennel bulb. They come in many different sizes, so if you end up with too much, just remember, put it aside in your fridge and throw it in a stir fry. There's a bit of a root end on there holding these pieces together, and that's, they're delicious, but I don't want that going on when I plate my salad, so I'm just gonna take that little root end off. If you ever wanna take a fennel and bake it, you just cut it up chunkier and put it in the oven with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and you can roast it until it's soft. I'm thinking probably 35 minutes at 400 would work. I kind of just wing it when I roast things and just check on it. It seems to always turn out. So the fennel is all prepped. The next thing we're going to do is take some fresh Italian parsley. When you buy parsley, you can buy the curly parsley or you can get Italian parsley, which is flat leaf parsley. I always buy the flat leaf parsley. I love the flavor of it. And if you ever smell it or taste it, it's interesting because it actually has an orange flavor to it. One of the things I really wanna do is use it in an orange sorbet. I think it would be so beautiful to make an orange sorbet and have this minced up and through that sorbet, it would be gorgeous. So all I do, just roughly pull the stems off that are a little tough and I just quickly push it into a pile I'm gonna cut it down the center, and then I'm just gonna not mince it, but chop it, because I wanna see that Italian parsley. And that's it. I'm gonna build my plate of ingredients so that when I make my salad, I'm just pulling things onto it. So you'll do a quarter of a cup of parsley. This is a little less, but I'm just moving things along. So the next thing we're gonna do is prepare a quarter of a cup of fresh mint. 
This flavor is so unexpected and delicious in the salad. Just adds that extra layer of flavor. I'm taking all the leaves off and again, I'm gonna push them into the pile exactly like I did the parsley. This is not gonna be quite a quarter of a cup. So again, about the same size that you did the parsley. In this salad, we have toasted hazelnuts. I think they are such a wonderful flavor and they're definitely the one that I would choose, the kind of nut I would choose to put in this salad. And I just split them in two. You're not chopping them, you're just splitting them in two. Try to find them where they're already husked. That means the brown skins are off them. It's much easier. These I actually had to toast and then pull the skins off. To do that, it's very simple. You'll toast them for maybe five or six minutes at 350. And when you pull them out of the oven, immediately put them into a towel, like a kitchen towel, and rub those skins off. It makes a mess of the towel, so definitely use a towel that you're not in love with. So I'm just gonna roughly chop these. Okay, so that's it, just split. I'll give you all the proportions that you will need to make six servings of this on my um, description underneath the show. Okay, so now we're going to make the dressing. I have a shallot here. I've already peeled. The root end is still intact. So when you peel it, you don't want to pull the whole root end off because that holds it together. I'm gonna to show you how to cut these. There's a little trick to them. I wanna do them finely minced. So I'm gonna leave that root intact. I'm gonna cut right down the middle, but not through the root, okay? And now I'm gonna hold it together, pinch it together, and do little eighth of an inch slices all the way across. Okay, and then turn it and do the same thing. It gets a little tricky here, so hold it tight. Okay, I'm gonna get my favorite knife and mince it it's so fast. I'll take my knife back and just give it a little final mincing. You may have some bigger pieces in there, you just wanna even them out. This is going in the dressing, so you want it really fine. We also have feta cheese, nice, fresh, traditional crumbled feta cheese, which will also go into the salad. Now we're gonna make the dressing, so simple but the ingredients that you put in it need to be really good quality. I love this little OXO salad shaker. It has already got the measurements on it, which I use when I'm making bigger portions. Today I'm gonna to use a tablespoon, but it's awesome because you just put everything in there, close it up, you gotta make super sure that this stopper is closed, and then you shake it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so we're gonna do one tablespoon of the shallots into this wonderful little container. And we're gonna use really good quality balsamic vinegar. This is from Italy. I love it, it's my go-to balsamic vinegar. I can get it at Whole Foods. I can also get it at Williams Sonoma. It's not cheap, it's expensive, but it's really worth it. So we're gonna do one tablespoon Now from the oranges, I have two teaspoons of orange juice. That's going in there as well. Now for the olive oil. I love olive oil. I belong to a club out of Sonoma, California, which I joined about 10 years ago. I discovered it at a farmer's market on a Saturday morning and it changed my life, kind of, but it's so good. So I belong to this club. I think it's maybe $50 a quarter that you pay and they send you their latest releases of olive oils or vinaigrettes, balsamic vinegars, flavored vinegars. I mean, it's endless. And I'm so inspired every time my shipment arrives to try their recipes, which they include in their shipment. So check it out, the Olive Press. It's amazing. Love this product. This one is a basic Extra virgin olive oil has a really good grassy flavor. I love it, it's beautiful, I use it a lot. But today we're gonna to use another one that I just got in my shipment last week. 
and it's Sevillano. It's very buttery. It's perfect for a finishing olive oil for a salad. It has um, a little bit of a grassiness to it, but just a little, so it's not gonna fight with what's going on with the mint, the fennel, the parsley, and all of the other flavors going on. It's gonna complement it perfectly. We're gonna add a tablespoon of it to our dressing. We're gonna put a pinch of sea salt into this, a little bit of cracked black pepper. Now we're gonna shake it up. And again, make sure that thing is in perfectly or you'll be very upset. That's it. How easy is that? That's so fast. So now we're gonna have some fun and put this salad together. I love this pure white bowl. It's a pasta bowl, but you could use a white plate. We're just gonna stack it in. We've got the fennel. We have a little mint. We have the oranges. We'll just kind of be creative with it, stacking it in and just a beautiful little casual kind of arrangement. You can make this as big or as small a salad as you like. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna make it big. You put a little parsley in here, just layering those colors. Now we're gonna do the beets. These beets you wanna be really careful with because they can destroy the whole look if you're not careful. They just get everywhere. Kind of put it in the center. more fennel. There we go. We get a little feta in here. Get the flavors. So pretty. That orange is kind of hidden so we're going to add some more oranges. Look how beautiful this is. Hazelnuts top it off. That perfect little bit of crunch. Let's do a little more mint. A little more parsley, beautiful. And maybe one more beet on top, a little more feta. It's gorgeous, so fresh, so easy. Now we're gonna to top it off with our vinaigrette. You could pour it on, but I like to just spoon it on. Perfect. And this is our salad. Perfect blend of fresh mint, parsley, fennel, roasted beets, and orange with this balsamic vinaigrette that's amazing. So I hope you'll try it. I think you're going to love it. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's show making this beautiful salad. If you've enjoyed the show, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I would welcome comments and I will get back to you. Until next time. Thank you for watching. I love this salad. It's roasted beets. Ugh, it's the most perfect combination of flavor. I've already prepped my beets to save the mess. <laughs> so these are cut. Oh shoot. Okay, forget that because I already did that. So today, that's what I'm going to use. I hate that. I said that. I'm going to start this again. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's show and I hope you'll try this amazing salad. If you've...